listening to Cognitive Power 21.org with Jerry Royce. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, hey, what's up, family? Facebook Live, Spreaker Live, Twitter, Periscope, what's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome. And thank you for joining us to Positive Power 21.org, Double XI, Christian Media Podcast. And you're listening to Late Night Radio with Jerry Woods Live and my co host, the Faith Walker from Survival Radio, the ATL. We call her by her government name, Joy White. And our special guest tonight is Shara Boykin. I hope I said her name correctly. But can you feel the power? Can you feel the power, 21? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's right to Super Trinity. We need them. Well, I'm your host, Jerry was Live, worldwide, and we all need to be lifted up and encouraged at all times. The Bible is a great source of encouragement. The Bible is the living word of God, and it feeds us to the promises of God found in Scripture. In Philippians 4, 4, 7, read, Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice, and let everyone see that you are unselfish and consider all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God you need, and don't forget to thank Him for His answers. Because if you do this, you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. His peace. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. Jesus answered, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. The one that comes to me, no one comes to me except. Whoa, blah, blah, blah. back it up. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 11 25, Jesus said to her, I'm the resurrection and life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? The power 21. Praise him. Praise him in his mighty sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him in trumpet and sound. Flute and harp. Praise him in tambourine and dance. Springs and pipes. Praise him with loud sound and timbers. All right, y'all. I think this is episode 5. The eight. That's right. You're over 500 plus. Praise God. Oh, mighty Father, creator of heaven and earth, everything in between, we humbly come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts, asking for your never-ending mercy. We lift your name on high above any name that's ever existed. Our Father and creator, we ask you to bless, protect, and to pour your supernatural favor upon us. Our children, spouses, and friends, God, we ask you today for divine intervention in our lives. We ask you to touch in all areas of our lives, be it in our new job, promotion, freedom, and debt. We building up our relationships with our spouses and our friends and our nation. Father, any situation you touch, we believe would never remain the same. Amen. In the name of our Holy Son. The only Son, our personal Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That's right. Tonight we got the share of bookings. I guess we got the Faith Walker here. So we've got to share coming up at 9.30. We're going to talk to the Faith Walker in a second. Before I do that, let's give you some, some black history. Some quotes, y'all. That's right. Every night on the show, we're going to give you a little something, something about our black heroes. That's right. Tonight we got Damon John. You remember that guy from FUBU? Damon Garfield John is an American businessman, investor, television personality, and often motivational speaker. He was born February 23rd, 1969, Brooklyn, New York. He's five, seven. He has three children. And uh, his book's out called The Brand Within, The Power of Branding from Birth to the Boardroom. Boardroom. All right, Prince, Margaret, John, and 
Bust off your job. All right, let's get some quotes from me. He said, I'm a big advocate of financial intelligence. Good grooming is an integral and impeccable style to a must. Is a must. If you don't look the part, no one wants to give you time or money. So I consider each business investment based on concept and revenue. He also goes to say, learn as many mistakes what not to do while your business or product is small. Don't be in such a hurry to grow your brand. Make sure that you and the market can sustain any bumps that may occur down the road. I've come to learn that my initial investment is more about the person versus the product that I am buying into. I've also learned that I really do enjoy giving worthy people an opportunity of a lifetime. And last but least, he said, every problem can be solved as long as they use common sense and apply the right research and techniques. Oh, I like this one too. An entrepreneur must pitch a potential investor for what the company's worth as well as for the dream on how much of a profit can be made. And that's from Damon John. That's right, from BrainyQuotes.com. And he was our black superhero. Nice show. All right, our next superhero coming up. You know her. Joyce the Faith White Walker. <laughs> the Faith. What's up, Joyce? What's up? What's up? How you doing? <laughs> only you, Jerry. <laughs> only you. Um, I'm good. <laughs> you good. Yeah. Good to have you back. Good to have you back. Well, thank you. I was um doing a rehearsal last Thursday. I did a uh, fashion show uh, last Sunday. Oh, oh really? You the beauty? Yeah. The MC. Right. No, I was I was one of the models because it's called the Ageless Beauty. So it's a modeling ag- agency for women and men that are forty and older. Oh wow! Nice. <laughs> are you they know. up this way? They do stuff up no, here? No, they're, they're, they're here, just here in Atlanta right now. I mean, but we have models in Alabama and other states. Like, one model moved to California, and she she came back from California to be in the fashion show. So I'm sure oh, wow. we could have models up there where you are in Maryland. Yeah, they fly you in, huh? As if she just was having to be back in town for the show. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, so it was a big runway show? You had designers yep. and box uh-huh, stores. We had designers. Wow. You do any selfies? No Did selfies? I do any who? <laughs> selfies. Did you do any selfies? Oh, um, I mean, a lot of people were taking pictures. I didn't really pull my phone out and take any pictures, but um, there's a lot of pictures floating around the Internet. All right. All right. Well, look, we're glad you had a great time. It's always good to get involved with, you know, Big big projects like that and them big events. It's always fun to do those things. I was looking at um some Paris car show online. I'm not I'm not sure when it was, but you know they always show the concept car cars and and some of the new stuff that's going to be coming out. You know the next year. So I was looking to see what some of the 2018 some interesting um concepts coming out. Um, a lot of them copycats. You got a lot of cars coming out with uh, battery operated with plenty of horsepower so that's going to be good to see it's, it's about time you know they've been had that technology but um <laughs> now finally they're going green with the automobiles but but who knows how much the baby's yep. going to cost so they up there they're pretty up there so that was fun to look at you know what's coming out on the, the floor models and also we got a chance. To, the reason we did um, our uh, black black superhero was uh, Damon John. I've been actually, you know, checking out his book. I just, uh, well, I haven't quite ordered, but I, I have it in my favorites. His new book. His book uh, is called, I think it's called something about going broke. The power, yeah, the power of going broke. So that's that's the latest book. He has that in an audio book. So I said I was going to download that and check that out. So uh, you out there, entrepreneurs, music artists, you kind of don't really know what, what to do with your brand, uh, check them out. Yep, Damon John. You remember a guy from FUBU? You remember FUBU? Yep. Oh, yeah, I had I had a few items that had uh, FUBU on it, or my son yeah. did. <laughs> that was an interesting story. Um, he has quite a few um, podcasts out there on YouTube um, where they, you know, they're in the studio with a camera and, it's, you know, it's a podcast. And um, he, he tells a really great story 
um, his journey. Great story. And I, I, I'd say anybody who's who's looking not just to be a designer, because he wasn't really a designer, really. He just basically was a guy that knew how to capitalize on, well, know, know how to create. You could almost say he was like a game changer because it wasn't really a whole lot of, um, you know, stuff out there. I think Cross Colors was out back then, and not even Sean Johns was out at the time. He didn't come out too much later. So he kind of paved the way. I remember Kanye, what was it called? Uh, Kanan, 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 something like that. He was he was out Kanan. there. I don't know. Carl Kanan. 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 Yeah, Carl, Carl Kanan. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know what he's doing. I haven't, I haven't seen anything of him. You know, is he even still alive? I'm going to Google that guy. <laughs> so I haven't, haven't seen, And he came, he busted on the scene, I, I think, first, right? Is that right? One of the first black hip-hop um, designers? Him? And then uh, Cross Colors, I think. I'm, I'm not even sure who owned Cross Colors. I never, I never knew who owned Cross Colors. You know, was it a white-owned company or what? But that was interesting when that came out. And then um, then came uh, FUBU. Fubu, he really, you know, he he pretty much took a page out of um, what the what the, what they the jewelers did with with the diamonds. You know, he picked a, you know, remember they picked like a Hollywood star, put diamonds on it, and they came out with that that motto, a diamonds are a girl's best friend, and they just uh-huh. instantly get value. Well, he pretty much did the same thing by putting his T-shirts on LL Cool J when he had that sh- that TV show. That's all he was pretty much wearing was Fubu. He, yeah. he was the fake fubu. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's what you got to do. You know, they're still doing that today. You know, the American Express, you got Samuel Jackson and and then that, uh, the girl that used to be on that superhero show. I always forget her name. She's married to Ben Affleck. Jen, oh, uh, Jennifer Garner. Yeah, Garner, they divorced right. now. Yeah, I know. They've gotten back together and everything. But, well, um, I mean, they you know, do stuff together for the kids. To co-parent, yeah. but they're not together as a couple. Yeah, I know he had some personal problems, so yeah, I, I, I know you don't really see her doing as much like as far as TV and movies anymore. So, but you do see a lot of her in the commercials and everything. So, yeah, uh, about branding. It's about branding. You don't get too old for that. All right. Nope. So, what's going on in neck of the woods, uh, Joyce? Oh, the oh, I forgot. Um, well, I mean, I told you, but I forgot to announce this publicly. Um. My nephew, Derek White, is with the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, all yeah, right. He got drafted. You going to get a chance to see some games? Or you got to wait till yeah. he comes to your time? You go, when he comes here, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah That's all right. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if people have seen um, Outpage, but um, one of the guys that, that was on our Facebook page, um, that was part of the Bellows organization, their church congregation, Holy Mountain. He's in the NBA also. Um, he, has a real, he, has, he has a really odd name. I'm not even going to try to say his name. I, I, know, I know his name when I see him, but I, I don't want to mess his name up. Yeah, he's, he's from Nigeria. So oh, anyway, okay. Yeah, he's, he's been on the show. He was on the show a couple of years ago when he was uh, playing for, hmm, I want to say he was with the Minnesota Timberwolves, I believe. That's a, okay. I believe he, um, yeah, and um, um, so interesting. Um, I had a chance to watch a uh, 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 podcast and a documentary uh, with uh, uh, Mark Cuban. You guys know Mark Cuban. He's the the owner of the Maverick, Dallas Maverick. And uh-huh. um, I was I wanted to find out how did this guy get rich, you know, to own a sports franchise, you know, because he he was pretty young when he got that big money. And turned out he was one of those guys that I can almost say he kind of ran had a flim ran a flim flam on Yahoo because Yahoo didn't have a clue what was going on, and they paid like five point seven billion dollars for his company, and Yahoo didn't even know how it worked. <laughs> they just wanted it. They just, it sounded good, and I, and then listening to the documentary, it really sounded like they really did anything with it after they purchased it. Uh, the guy was one of the first ones to figure out how to bring in uh, multimedia to the internet. You know, like he had like multi channels of sports and, and I think he was one of the first ones that he, he like nailed the uh, contract to get Victoria's Secret fashion show online. And that was like the highest hit show ever. And I think Yahoo saw something in that, you know, 
bringing visual content to their to their to their viewers to their you know to their I said the email holders <laughs> because we all of us had emails for Yahoo back then until you know Google came along. So uh, I know Yahoo was trying some things. You remember when they tried to launch this big concert? Man, they was promoting that thing hard, and I said, "Well, I really want to see that." You know, them bringing a live concert right to your to your browser, and um, that thing crashed. <laughs> it never did work. It showed them coming through the tunnel, all the smoke and everything. I mean, you could hear the music was piping through. I said, "Oh man, this is gonna be hot HD." I think it was like, man, it must have been five years ago. That thing crashed. Never made it out of the gates. And I think, I'm not even sure when that big deal broke, but, it, you know, but he got, they, him and his buddy got $5.7 billion out of that thing. And um, it, was, it was from another technology. Another guy had actually started it. <laughs> they actually um, paid him his shares. And I think they gave him like, I think they fired him and gave him some shares. And I guess it was almost say, just watch from the sidelines. We got it now. It was a really interesting documentary how those guys can take something that they didn't even make. <laughs> it's like Steve Jobs. He didn't make anything. You know, he didn't make no iPhone or nothing. You know, and look, end up becoming a billionaire. So, uh, you know, just take notes, I say. You know, you don't have to be that mm-hmm. innovative. Be a business brain, you know, That's how to right. take advantage of a, you know, a new culture, a new trend, and make it yours. Own it. That's what they did. They own that bad boy. It was so interesting to watch. Um, so that's, that's what I did today on my walk. Talk to Paula G. Paula G's out there in UK, hanging out with the grandkids and everything. So she be back soon on the show. So we catch her. She probably end up hanging out with us sometimes on Thursdays and. And we got to get on Fridays with the Quiet Storm. So a real good show. We are we feature music videos and new music. So we got a lot of new music. And tonight we got the Cheryl coming up in a few minutes. I'm not sure if you heard her music, Joyce. But uh, if you have anything else, we, could, we, can, we can open up with, her, with her, her, her music and then we can talk to her. So you good? All right. Oh, I'm good. All right. You good? <laughs> All right. Yep, cool. yep. So now she didn't label... See that this song, her song was on labels, and I, I thought I put them somewhere where I could find them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go back and figure out where I put it at. Okay, Uh-oh. I think this is it. All right, this one is called. I think I have something else on the system that belongs to her. I have to look for it, but I know this belong. This is called um, "Stop and Look." Okay, she didn't right. label. So "Stop and Look." It's about the Cheryl Borky. Next voice you hear is gonna be hers on Positive Power Double XI Christian Media. Yeah, we got this. Why don't you stop and look? See what thoughts are at you. Quickly listen to the words he's telling you. Open your heart to the path he's taking you. Just obey, see the blessings flow for you. Oh, 
look and listen and just see what you've been missing. He loves you and is waiting just to give him the permission to save you and raise you and take up your commission for he paid the price when he gave his own life on Calvary. He died to save you and me. All he wants is your life made more abundantly. Be quick to hear and slow to speak. Then you will know his love is real and he will appeal to your heart and mind and soul and time. When you feel like giving up, it gets hard sometimes. But if you look and listen, uh, his love will quicken uh, your spirit and mind. So wanna give him some time. All right, let's hear a little something about our star, our star tonight, Tashara. I guess I'm saying her name correctly. Tashara is originally from the state of Connecticut and is the youngest of two children born to Deacon James and Betty Teal. She began singing in the church where she grew up, East End Baptist Tabernacle Church in the Starlight Choir at the age of three. And then two of are Reverend Michael Cummings and the late Reverend Maxine Foster Durham. It was during these early years and stages in her life that she realized her love and passion for singing. Tashara always knew that she had a special love for helping others and more importantly, a love for Jesus Christ. Going to the church and singing for, was something that absolutely made her, made her elite lady. She was often told by many ministers and evangelists that she is anointing on her life and to always follow the path of God. That, that's exactly what she did. After giving an awesome opportunity to sing for the Pope in Rome, Italy, along with her fellow high school concert choir singers, she realized the impact and the power that a beautifully written song, coupled with beautiful voices in the Spirit of God, not only had on her, but her listening. And to share with me writing songs about her relationship with God. All right. She also a graduate, got a bachelor's degree from Jacksonville University in marketing. Very marketing, yeah. And she's minor in dance. Wow. A whole bunch of talent. All right, let's bring her on and find out who this young lady really is. All right, y'all. We're joined by the Faith Walker. What's up to Cheryl Boykin? Welcome to Positive Power. What's going on? Hey, hey. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We're good. Thank you for joining us on Double XI. Finally got you. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. And we joined tonight by Survival Radio's very own Joyce White. We call her Joyce. Say hi, Joyce. <laughs> hey, Joyce. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing just marvelous. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that's great. That's marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tashara, you have a very interesting bio. You know, very, you know, started really young. So we want we want to hear your own words, not mine. So who was Tashara Boy? Am I saying your name correctly, Tashara? Is that right? Um, close. It's Tashara. Tashara, okay, Tashara. I kind of thought so. All right, Tashara. So who is Tashara Boykin? Who is she? Well, Tashara Boykin is, um, like you said, a native of Connecticut, but more more importantly, I am um, a disciple of Christ, and I'm a mother of one wonderful son, Devin, and uh, just I am a person who enjoys life and enjoys living life and, and sharing and spreading the gospel of God. Amen. 
short and sweet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, and, and what do you enjoy doing but, but singing and dancing? What, is the, what, do you, what, what calms you down? Actually, you, both, to be honest. Um, it, 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 I guess it depends on what I'm going through. There's different songs that um, will minister to me, and, and if I need to get into a, a place of worship, I'll just be led to dance. And there's a lot of times that I'll just be in my house and um, a, a song will come on and, and I'm led to just go into a dance. And it, it just it helps me release whatever frustration or just kind of get into a place where I can be one with God. But then singing also does that as well, um, especially different times when I can't get on the um, – you know, can I, when I can't dance, like driving in a car, I, I sing all the time. Sometimes I don't re- even realize <laughs> that I am singing. Um, so that is definitely my passion. But but dance is, is it has always been a part of my life as well. All right. So you don't dance in the car. I dance in the car. I get my best <laughs> dance on. It, so. Well, it's limited, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Joyce, Joyce, you join us. With the questionnaire, the interview. Up, Phil. Yeah. Well, the question I wanted to ask is, what made you decide to um, get your Bachelor of Science degree in marketing? Well, I actually, um, I've always liked the idea of marketing. I've, even when I was a little kid, just even just looking at different commercials and um, magazine ads and how things were put together, that always kind of intrigued me. So when I went to school, when I went to um, to Jacksonville University, they, they offered that for, as a major, and I wanted to get more into it um, and just to kind of see where things would take me. And I, it was very interesting, interesting learning the different um, facets of, uh, the brainstorming that companies come up with and on how to market different products and market, um, the, you know, different products and, and whatever it is that they're marketing. So I definitely wanted to get into that a little bit more and, and learn the different areas of marketing. I actually um, can stand to use some of the techniques and tools <laughs> that I learned there to market myself more. But it does come in handy just to kind of have that background. And, um, you know, along with marketing, it does come with the sales um, aspect of it as well. So I, I really enjoy that. Um, I like people, and I like I enjoy conversing with people and, um, and learning, you know, just to get into the mindset of what, appeals to people when they decide to get a, get a product or um, and things of that sort. So that's that's kind of what got me into it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that, that was my major too. I have, really? I major. Yeah. Cool. Cor- they call it corporate communication, but it it had marketing, graphic design, website development, and business manager all built in. It was hard. <laughs> it was the hardest thing I've ever done. I couldn't believe it was yeah. a, it should have been longer than four years to get out of that program. So, yeah, good for you. Now, being a marketing major, it's like everything you touch, you're always analyzing it. So tell, tell us about this song, Stop and Look. Very interesting title. What, 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 <laughs> what, 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 what uh, possess you to write that and name it that song, name it that title? You know, actually, I was honored to be asked to write a song for a theme. Um, the church that I was a part of when I first graduated from college, um, the pastor's wife asked me to, to write a theme song for a revival, a family revival that they were having, and the, the, re- the name of the revival was called Stop, Look, and Listen. And so, hence that came, that's where the, the title of the song came from. You know, I, I was going to name it Stop, Look, and Listen, but Stop and Look just kind of appealed to me more. And so that's where the, um, you know, the the whole gist of the song came from. But then even after the, while I was writing the song, I definitely had to apply it to my own life and the lives of others as well, because especially nowadays, it takes we 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 get into the hustle and bustle of things so much that we don't take the time sometimes to really stop for a minute and think and look and and listen to God and and listen to um, our inner ear and our inner voice to hear what God is saying to us and to see the path that He is taking us to. So it, it's definitely something that um, 
ended up applying to my life as well, but I was just originally given the privilege of um, being asked to write the theme song by my first lady. So that's where it came from. Yeah, I like the title. And sometimes when you're marketing, you try to keep things kind of short and sweet, and, and sometimes you probably spend more time trying to get that title right than the material itself. You know, I, I can just imagine what it's like. <laughs> You want to see what it looks like on paper, you know, what the graphics going to look like. You know, marketing may just think a lot. You know, you kind of overthink, and and then yeah. on top of that, we're going to deadlines. Okay. You, you can't get a bit frustrated. You know, we can see frustration, but everything is like show and tell these days. So I, I know that was very important yeah. to you, and I, I love that song. The song. Thank that you. Piece. Yeah, we play. I remember we, we have that in rotation. I, I didn't recognize the title for a second there because I always look at everybody's <laughs> name. You know, I learn names before I learn titles of the songs. All right. Thank you I so hear- much for answering the question. Oh, no and problem. You, yeah. And you said you sent that, 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 that uh, file so it's tagged already, right? So you sent another one? I'll pull that one. Yes. Yeah, so I'll again um, for the next song. All right. Cool. All right, Joyce, you ready? Yeah, so where do you get your uh, inspiration when um, writing your song? Um, Definitely, it's mostly divine intervention, but sometimes, you know, just life itself. um, It can be a situation that I may be going through or a situation that um, a friend of mine is going through, and and God will put an unction in in me to to kind of just – to write lyrics and or write a poem or you know however it may come to me, but um, more more so the songs have been tailored to my life experiences and things that I have gone through personally, um, and just trying to get a cl- closer relationship with God, which has definitely led me to seek His face even more. And it just it so happens when I when I do get into that place where I do stop and I look and I listen <laughs> to um, what God is telling me to do, uh, He definitely gives me an impartation of the words to say, um, and it's 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 actually an amazing um, transition and, and journey for me because He'll give me the songs, He'll give me the the in the arrangements at the same time of how the song should you know how He wants to go. So. Uh, mostly it it is definitely divine intervention, but more so through my life experiences. And um, like I said, a couple things, a couple of the songs that I have written have been um, about um, a friend of, you know, friends of mine that I've, I've had. Um, it's definitely not, you know, not personal. I don't say anything about that. But, um, you know, if I'm help, I'm a helper and I'm a giver. So sometimes I may help someone through a situation and God or um, will, will speak to me and it'll eventually lead to a song so yeah that's that god within you working on you that's right right all right exactly so, so, so now since we're talking so much about this song, i'm going to play uh your, your next song a wonderful performance next tell us uh tell us about some of the people that worked on the project just give them a shout out oh definitely well i um well, first of all, for Stop and Look, we end wonderful as well. Um, producers are Richard and Anisha Christie, and um, they have been a, a very strong instrument in, in getting my songs out for me. Um, Anisha Christie is actually singing the background along with me on Stop and Look. And then I also have to definitely give a shout-out to um, Dion and Nika Adams, and Dion Silas, who are the background singers for uh, Wonderful. They are just truly amazing women, along with Anisha Christie. She's a background singer as well on Wonderful. They're all just just beautiful women in the spirit, and um, our voices kind of just gel so well together. So I was very honored to have them be a part of this project, and, um, and we, you know, we still collaborate on different things to this day, and it's, it's just been an, a wonderful experience. <laughs> yeah, all right. The engineers, engineers, you work, did you work with the same engineers and producers on both songs? I did, yes. Mm-hmm. All right, cool, cool. All right, so we're going to check out the second hit. It's called Wonderful Performance. It's a shower, Boykin. <laughs> Thank you. 
How you doing, everybody? I'm Nina Taylor, and here is your Gospel News. Inspired by singers like Reverend Donald Vales and Thomas Whitfield, Byron Cage began singing gospel music as a teenager. He went to serve as music director for the New Birth Church in Atlanta and to become minister of music at Ebenezer AME Church in Fort Washington, Maryland. Together with his nine vocalist group, Purpose, which he formed in the mid-90s, Cage recorded three memorable live albums of spiritual, transparent in your presence, dwell among us, and the Prince of Praise. He received five stellar awards for his 2003 Prince of Praise and received a 2006 Grammy nomination for his 2005 release, An Invitation to Worship. Live at the Apollo, the proclamation appeared in 2007 with Faithful to Believe arriving in 2009 and Memoirs of a Worshipper in 2012. Pamela Jean Mann, born June 9, 1966 an American gospel singer and actress known for her reoccurring role as Cora in Tyler Perry's movies and plays, including I Can Do Bad All By Myself, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, Medea's Family Reunion, Medea's Class Reunion, Meet the Browns, and What's Done in the Dark. Mann began her career as a singer with the gospel group Kirk Franklin and the Family. She was a featured soloist on several tracks while with Kirk Franklin's group, including Don't Take Your Joy Away, Now Behold the Lamb, and Lean On me, the latter in which also included Mary J. Blige, Crystal Lewis, R. Kelly, and Bono. She released her own album, The Master Plan, in 2009. Pamela Mann has appeared in movies including Kingdom Come, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, Medea's Big Happy Family. She's recorded some songs on the soundtrack of Diary of a Mad Black Woman, including participating in the song, Father, Can You Hear Me? Pamela Mann is the wife of David Mann, who is also known for his role as Leroy Brown in several of Tyler Perry movies and plays. In 2009, her second studio album, The Master Plan, was released. It peaked at number two on the Billboard Gospel Album Charts and peaked at number 97 on the Billboard Top 200. Pamela Mann's third album, Best Days, was released on August 14, 2012. It debuted at number one on the Billboard Top Gospel Albums Chart and number 14 on the Top 200 Billboard. Pamela Mann won stellar awards for Best Female Gospel Artist and Artist of the Year in 2014, as well as Best Gospel Artist at the 2014 BET Awards. From Detroit, the Queen of Soul is now King of the Road. Surrounded by fans and family, the legendary singer had a city street named after her last week. A section of Madison between Rush and Whitherell is now known as Aretha Franklin Way. Franklin, who is now 75, admitted to being a bit emotional about the honor. I knew I would be weepy when I got down here, she said, to an audience gathered at the Music Hall Center for Performing Arts. She thanked the Detroit City Council for the honor, which she called magnificent. Originally from Memphis, Tennessee, Franklin moved her family to Detroit in 1946 when her father, the late Reverend C.L. Franklin, became pastor of New Bethel Baptist Church. The street naming kicked off four days of events for the inaugural Detroit Music Weekend designed to showcase the city, its artists, and the entertainment district. Detroit Council President Brenda Jones read a proclamation last Thursday detailing the relationship between Aretha Franklin and the intersection of Madison and Brush, site of the music hall. She performed at the music hall numerous times during her career, and the venue hosted Easter Sunday services when her father's church was over capacity. The proclamation also highlighted Franklin's professional achievements, including 18 Grammy wins, induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2005. Here's your Billboard Top 10 Gospel Songs in the Country for this week. Jermaine Dolly, number 10 with Come and Knock on My Door. Number 9, G.I., Pray and Don't Worry. Number 8, Ryan Poppin with I Got Out. Number 7, Troy Sneed with Kept by His Grace. Number six, Todd Delaney, Victory Belongs to Jesus. Number five, Pamela Mann with Change Me. Number four, J.J. Harrison and Youthful Praise, You Deserve It, down from number one. Number three, Kirk Franklin with My World Needs You. Number two, Ty Tribbett with Work It Out. And number one for seven weeks, Bashawn Mitchell with Joy. Well, that's your Billboard Top 10 songs for this week and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Larry W. Robinson, host of Gospel Updates, your gospel entertainment news report. And you're listening to Positive Power 21 Christian Radio with Jerry Weiss, live worldwide. That's right. You tell them, Larry, you're listening to Jerry Weiss Live Worldwide podcast with the Faith Walker from Survival Radio herself, Joyce White. And we got Tashara here. She's a gospel singer. Two hits out. We just heard two of them. And I remember, I remember them now. I think they fell down a little far down the playlist because we have a lot of music now. But I remember uh, the last one, Wonderful Performance, and Stop and Look. Beautiful songs. Yeah, we had picked them up from Ingara. And speaking of Ingara, everybody, if you're an artist, you're looking for some exposure, you want to meet some other independents, get a feel of what's going on before you invest your hard-earned money in the studio time, like all the greats have done. Check out Ngara at I-G-A-R-A-A.com. And they have a Radio Alliance Award, July 13th, 14th, and 15th in Jacksonville, Florida. So you got to come out and check us out. Jerry Rose Live will be there on the 15th. And then don't forget about Reflections of Pine Street. I talked about them yesterday. H. Rap Brown, Burn Baby Burn. That's right, Reflection of Burn Street, um, Pine Street during the, the riots of 69, 67. So they're celebrating their anniversary. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's four-day events starting on the 21st of July. They're going to have a big gala, black and white, black tie, at the, the famous Hyatt Regency Chesapeake uh, Resort and Golf Course. And it'll be the 21st and the 2nd, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. They'll be out in the, in the community, on Pine Street, celebrations, you know, reminiscing, all kinds of stuff. They're going to be honoring the mayor, and uh, also uh, Gloria Richardson, who, who was born and lived on the era, who was a civil rights activist, she will be there. And she's being honored at, at the gala, too, both her and um, uh, the, the sister, just the mayor, uh, Victoria Stanley, I think her name, Jackson Stanley. All right, I hope I got her name right. I thought I had it all written down somewhere, y'all. So anyway, we're back. We're back with my guests and my co host Enjoy the music. I remember your music now. It's been a while now. We've been carrying your music for quite some time. Uh, when did you yes, um, first yes. release that? You remember when you released it? Um, yeah, I released Wonderful on November 18th of last year. Okay, yeah. So I remember we've been carrying it for a while now. Great, 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 mm-hmm. great music. And congratulations to you. Now, were you down? Now, you were in, you were in the area. Were you in the, do you live in the area of Jacksonville? Is that right? I do. Oh, I live in Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. Okay, so were you at the Ingara um, Radio Alliance last year? I was so not. I... Um, unfortunately, I was not able to go, um, but I will be there this year. Yeah, okay, we get a chance to meet you. I thought I heard your name thrown around, but I may have got you mixed up with somebody. Because I think when you came out with your music, it was a whole a lot of other artists came out, had this, you know, y'all got that same sound and that look. I think it was like Patrice Sings. And a couple but, others. Yeah. Powerful mm-hmm. voice, great lyrics. Now, the the independent gospel industry has really taken off, you know, especially thanks to the internet. This, this great community we have, the Facebook, especially now since they introduced video. You know, people are just not just posting pictures anymore, but you have an opportunity to, to post full length music videos and really sh- promote yourself. Um, tell us as a marketer and a and a performer and an artist, how, how great is Facebook for you and what you're doing with it? Um, it has been really, really good for me. It's worked very well um, with getting things out there and um, just posting, like you said, posting different things. I do have a, a lyric video for Stop and Look, and I was, I've been able to share that on Facebook. And um, a, a lot of people have commented and um, actually gone and downloaded my music after sharing that um, and have, you know, become uh, followers on Facebook um, because of that and did posting different things about Wonderful. I had a, um, a you know, and then also sometimes just a word that God will give me, you know, I'll post it on Facebook and it'll get get the audience involved in a dialogue between myself and, and some of the people who, you know, have been blessed by, by something that God has given me. So it gives me the, the um, ability and the advantage of being able to kind of um, – 
get to know a little bit more about the people who, who have liked my music and who do listen to the music and um, give me an, an opportunity to to expand um, the, the knowledge of the industry also and to expand where I am in the um, in the music industry as well. So Facebook has been a friend to me. <laughs> it's been really good. I am, like I said earlier, I do have to do a better job of marketing myself on Facebook and um, other social media uh, aspects. But all in all, it has really helped. Yeah, I mean, I love it too. And we always have great dialogue about it. I mean, there's always something great, some idea always come out or someone that can, that, that, that can be shared. And I know, Joyce, you spend, you know, a lot of time because you market your show on it. Anything special you'd like to share about Facebook, Joyce, that you think, you know, can help someone out there? Any tricks? Because I know it changes all the time. Oh, Facebook? <laughs> oh, um, yeah. you, just have to, you just definitely have to be um, consistent, and you have to post at different times. Or even, um, you know, with Facebook, you can set up, uh, you can schedule your post as well, yeah, which that's is awesome. a great idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the boss be watching you saying, what are they doing posting this time of day? They're supposed to be working. <laughs> yeah, but if you schedule right. it. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. You're a cashier, what you're doing posting. <laughs> you don't know you can schedule it, right? That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. You got a question for her? Another question, Julie? Yeah, I just wanted to know um, who your um, favorite gospel artists are. Wow. Um, well, first, definitely Cece Winans. I have to say she is, is definitely my, my all-time favorite gospel artist. Um, and I, I love Tasha Cobb. I love Cobbs. I love... Um, uh, Karen Clark Sheard, Kiara Sheard, definitely, you know, all of the Clark sisters, um, <laughs> Mary, Mary. There, I have, I, I pretty much like <laughs> them all because of the the difference that they have. Um, even um, Todd Delaney, his his music is awesome, it, it, and it has definitely been a blessing to me. So, I think as far as um, the ones that I've kind of tried to study under, it's been more so like CC Wine and even Aretha Franklin, of course, she's a, a legend in her own right, um, and Pamela Mann. They, um, I love their um, their desire and their yearning for God, and you can hear it um, in, their, in their music that they are really, really just speaking and connecting one-on-one with God at that time. Yeah, I love Cece. Mm-hmm. I know this thing about her the other day because I church hosted her like three years ago here. And they haven't done anything since. I was like, man, when are they going to start doing that again? We have a beautiful sound stage. And um, she was she was awesome. So anyway, <laughs> so Deshaun, I tell you, now, are you, are you touring? Do you, do you tour with other artists or, do, you know, smaller venues yourself? Yeah, definitely. I've done um, quite a few of Brother Reggie Rich's um, with uh, his his concerts. I'm actually in a concert next weekend in Benson, North Carolina, for his anniversary. Um, so I've done that. I've um, you know sang at different churches here in Jacksonville, and um, and and definitely kind of try to collaborate with um, different musical artists as well um, to. You know, to get to get myself out there, and also, not even it's not even just necessarily about me, but it's also about you know getting collaborating with with the body of Christ to come together to um, you know in unity and 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 help one another, congratulate one another, and support one another. So yeah, I definitely am a huge yeah. proponent of um, of uh, different gospel concerts and and and. Um, touring with different people. That's right. Got to get out there. Cause it, it, I mean, it's, it's known that it works. Cause, um, and, I, and we like to extend the invitation to you. Um, we probably start shooting again in the fall because I know right now everybody has, like, really busy schedules. I mean, especially now since the ball started rolling 
we work with the Blessed Network um, and their sound studio up in, in the D.C. area, and we invited, like, a number of artists come through there to perform. And um, we're hoping if you're in the area and want to come visit Baltimore, D.C., because we have plenty for you to do. If you bring your family up here two, three days, hang out, and uh, we'll get you in the studio and, and shoot, um, shoot, shoot you on film. And you have something that you can um, use out there on the Internet. That's on us. So um, oh. nice to oh, yes. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would love that opportunity. We can, um, we can definitely, I can get the information from you a little later. That would be wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. I'll send you past the um, Bellows information. I know we're definitely looking at shooting after September because I know I got a bunch of stuff coming up through the summer, all the way through September. And that, I know we probably won't be free to October, November to start getting ready for the holidays because everybody's promoting albums. So that's the best way to market yourself is through visual presentation, you know, let people see you out there. And, right. Uh, definitely. Yeah. That's right. All right. That's awesome. All right. Now you, now you produce just the two songs. That's, that's all you have out there now, just the two and you do other people music. Is that how you perform if, if, if you're the only act? Yes, mm-hmm. I do some covers and then my, my two. Um, I'm actually working on finishing, com- completing um, the rest of the CD um, that should be out carefully at the beginning of next year. So I'm in, been in the studio now. I was actually in the studio yesterday working on um, completing the full project. So I'm excited yeah. about that. Um, All right. So you just, so for you, Singles work better than doing an entire LP, or is that like a budget thing for you? Um, well, just to kind of because I was new to the the whole industry of as far as getting my music out there, I wanted to start with singles to to learn the industry as I as I go. Um, instead of putting out a whole a full LP and then you know you're kind of like okay well what do I do next you know so. To me, just to kind of stay abreast and, and kind of stay out there, you know, it, it was a better strategy for me to come out with, with singles um, f- at first before I do a full album. Yeah, that's right. All right, Joyce, you got another, another question for our guest? Yep. My next question is <laughs> your two favorite scriptures are Matthew six thirty three and 34 and then Romans 12 and 2. Can you tell us why those yes. are your favorite scriptures? Definitely. Um, well, first of all, Romans 12 and 2, you know, that to me is just the epitome of, of what a Christian is. You want to be, um, you have to be transformed um, because when, when, you, when you accept the calling that God um, has given you for salvation, um, when he calls you to him, you know, a lot of times we are a mess in the world, and um, so we definitely have to become the um, disciples of Christ and become examples of who he really is. And the only way that we can do that is to be transformed, and you have to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. mind our minds are powerful, very powerful tools, and it, is, it amazes me that um, you, how your mind can work to make you think good or to make you think bad thoughts. Um, so God tells you, you know, to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so it's a constant um, thing that you have to work on on a daily basis to renew your mind of things of the world that, you know, may try to come in to, to, to infiltrate and to, to try to get you off track. So that's a constant thing that is at the forefront of my mind on how, Lord, just make me over. How can I be made over and transformed to be a true um, disciple and a true leader in the kingdom um, for you by the renewing of my mind? And um, and then um, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these needs will be added unto you. That's just as I often tell people, we make things hard, and I, I fall privy to this too. We make things hard on ourselves by going through some of the trials and tribulations that in life that we we kind of put on ourselves because 
that's usually not the first thing that we do when going through an is, a, a, a circumstance. The first thing is not um, always to pray or, or sit or sit and be still and listen to the voice of God and seek Him. Um, seek Him first. That's what the Scripture says: Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all of our needs will be added unto us. So, if He's going to be able to take care of us and take care of our needs, He wants us to seek Him first. It's kind of just like a toddler, you know, when when He, he looks to the to, to the mother or father for for guidance and for um, you know for the for the needs that they may have. So we are daughters and sons of Christ. And so that's what, that's what he wants us to do is to seek him first. So if we can kind of get that into our minds as, as God renews and transforms our uh, and renews our minds, as, as long as we can realize that if we seek him first, um, he will supply our needs. You know, he definitely is Jehovah Jireh, the, our provider, you know, Jehovah Rapha, our healer. So he knows us. He made us. Mm-hmm. But we have to seek him and who he is in order for us to really get to know the heart of God and to get to know who he is in our lives, to um, to fully trust him and have the faith that we need to please him. Mm-hmm. So that's why those are my favorite. <laughs> that's right. Preach. I hear you. Preach. That's, I know that's right. <laughs> You've been in church for a long yeah, time, so are, are, you, are you a deaconess <laughs> or, you know, like a minister? I, I'm a, I'm a, I am a minister in training. Uh, <laughs> Uh-oh, oh, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. congratulations. Me too. I've been in training with Holy Mount International Ministry. Shout out to them. Also, before we go to a commercial break, just want to let everybody know, um, and Tina reminded me, of course, I was going to let Google remind me, but I will be on her show tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on I Am a Superwoman uh, podcast. So uh, we'll make sure everybody get their schedule. Come check us out. Find out what the Batman is up to. That's right. Always busy. Got to be busy for the Lord. He, when he lay those gifts on, he wants you to use them. And it's not yes, just for you. It's for you to, maybe your feature, your special feature, but it's to benefit someone else and give him all the glory. Amen. All right. Amen. Let's hear from my man, my man, Larry Robinson, his gospel update. And he kept it short and sweet this week, but let's check him out. Hi, this is Larry W. Robinson with your Gospel Entertainment News Report, brought to you this week by GospelUpdates.com, the Gospel Updates mobile app, as well as the Gospel Updates e-magazine. This week I had an opportunity to catch up with Jeremy D. Sanders from Sounds of Kingdom. Their current single is titled Alive. Of course, I wanted to talk to him and let him tell you what Alive is all about. Jeremy D. Sanders, welcome to Gospel Updates, my friend. How you doing? Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Thank you, sir. Yes, hey, sir. tell the listening audience about Alive. Listen, Alive is an amazing effort that God has given out of the sound of kingdom. Um, and its intent and purpose is to just convey the message that we don't serve uh, a God who is just ornamental, but we serve a risen Savior. We serve a living Savior. And the Bible says, if I be with you, I'll draw them to me. And so our, our mission with the entire single alive is just to lift up his name so that men can be drawn to him. So that's, that's the entire purpose of the song. I love it. It's full of energy, it's full of life. It's a global message uh, to the world to declare that I say the lives. I love it. Alive, the current single from Sounds of Kingdom. It's available at all digital download stations. Thank you, Jeremy. Yes, sir. God bless. Bless you. What's up, everybody? This is Jesse Smollett from Empire. For over 105 years, the historic Piney Woods School has specialized in equipping the heads, hearts, and hands of economically disadvantaged students from around the world with a first-class education. Log on to pineywoods.org to find out more about Piney Woods School and how you can give from the heart. This has been your Gospel Entertainment News Report. I'm your host, Larry W. Robinson. For more news, download my mobile app. Search Gospel Updates in your app store as well as visit Gospel GospelUpdates.com You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast Alright, thank you Larry Robinson for Gospel Updates And look, you can check Larry out Check him out at GospelUpdates.com Also, we want to thank Nina Taylor For her Gospel News We appreciate both of them Shoot, uh, Shooting the news over here The Positive Power, Double XI And also, shout out to Randall Kane Canem Radio, he carry our podcast out in the California area. 
and Dion Cheese of iUrban Radio in New York City and iTunes and Spreaker Radio. And we have another affiliate too. I, I can never. Oh, Minister Adeabu. I always mess his name up. But I try. <laughs> anyway, I tried anyway. But the minister, we want to thank the minister too. So, and the Blessed Network, of course, and Elations Radio and Magazine. Thank those people. And don't forget about Serenity, Serenity Radio Network. We carry her show, and we got Bible Radio. Don't forget, we got a brand new show. It was on two. It was on Thursday. Switched to Tuesday. Now it's back to Thursday. And that's Pastor Jack. Happy hour, Pastor Jack. Bible Radio with him and his friends, and they have an exciting podcast. It's just getting better and better. So you guys got to check that out. It's on replay on my Facebook page, and um, also you catch him on our fan page, T Positive Power Double X. Ah, also. Uh, all the service men and women that serve overseas that catch our podcast, we want to say happy holidays to you guys. Happy 4th of July. I know a lot of you are not coming home uh, this weekend to be with your families, but you get a chance to hang out with your pals. So uh, we, we just want to say we keep you guys in prayer. and God bless you all. And also our new market, we're moving into the Asian market, which we've been doing pretty well in the Jap- Japanese market. We want to shout out to our fans out there. They just love gospel music. This one let uh, to shower and know um, that our Asian brothers and sisters, they love some gospel music. It's been something we've been hearing about for a really long time. So we're pushing um, a lot of our marketing efforts out that way, starting this holiday. And also in the Cambridge, Maryland, I just talked about H. That's right, Rap Brown, H. Rap Brown, Burn, C- baby, burn, baby Burn, uh, during the, uh, the, the streets, the riots in the streets of uh, Cambridge, Maryland in, in 1967. Uh, of course, there's going to be a lot of uh, celebration going on, remembrance, reflections, all that good stuff. So shout out to, to my good friends, Jermaine Anderson and Adrian Holmes Greens um, for opening up their venue, to Positive Power Double Excel, so we can do our podcast. And we did we, uh, just recently filmed the documentary. And shout out to Mr. Dennis Minus. That's right, the guy who he does the drum line. That's right, he teaches you how to meditate using drums, the African drums. So uh, shout out to them and that. That venue is called Live Again Art Bar, Furniture Boutique and Art Gallery in Cambridge, Maryland, right there on High Street. All right. All right. So uh, my guest is Deshara. Boy, can we just finish playing some of her music? We're going to end on the show. So we're going to finish talking to her about her testimony. Now, Natasha, a lot of artists um, put a lot of their life into their material. I know you, you know, you knew you're just getting into writing for yourself and the shan with the world. Do um, you think you, you're going to go down that road where you're going to start sharing some testimony in your, in your music? Yeah, um, more than likely, I definitely will. Um, it's kind of, um, in this life, you have to kind of be transparent <laughs> in order mm-hmm. to appeal to people because, you know, you have to be relatable. And if, if people can if people can relate to you, if people can relate to you with your testimony, um, you know, as God, as God leads you to tell as much as you can or, you know, just to, to in order to get someone else to lead them to Christ, that's what it's all about. So we, we never, usually never go through things for ourselves anyway. <laughs> it's always <laughs> to help someone else through a, a time. And a lot of times when we go through the different things, we don't realize it at the time, but it is usually to help someone else. So you have to be transparent and get your testimony because it does help people. That's right. Yeah. And speaking of that, Joyce, is that, was that your case? Joyce? Did you think you went through your, your, um, tribulation cause it's going to help somebody else. So I know you got your own radio show and you get a chance to entertain a lot of guests. Is, is that the same thing for you being transparent? Mm-hmm. Oh work? yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. When I first started my show, I was, very transparent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and God chooses people for, for different reasons. I mean, you meet so many people with some, some real special gifts, um, and, and some of them, that they, they're doing nothing but just helping the next person spring to the next level. Always look at that as like how watching all these podcasts as part of this community that we have, how they're growing, especially when you watch the Bellows. I remember when I met them, they were just authors, and now they're CEOs of their own television network. You know, and they're actually doing outreach in other countries. They just came from Martingo Bay, Jamaica, and, they, and they're planning to go over to um, Nigeria because they, they're opening a church there. 
So uh, so much is going on through social media. And, and Tashar, we touched on that on marketing and branding yourself. And, and they actually had hired themselves a social media manager who, who has a lot of experience with dealing with overseas connecting. Um, are you looking at overseas? Because I just mentioned Japan is they're big fans of gospel music. How do you feel about that? Oh, my gosh, yes, most definitely. I mean, the the word of God says to to preach the gospel to all nations. So that's what we're supposed to do. It's not just about America. It's not just about black. It's not about white. It's about every color, every nationality, every gender. Um, so, yeah, the more nations that you can reach, the better, because that is what we're supposed to do. That is what we are called, all called to do um, is to preach the gospel to the nation. So, most definitely going overseas is is, um, is something that I, I aspire to do for sure. Um, and, yes, uh, people in Japan absolutely love gospel music. So it's awesome. I would love, uh, you know, to expand the horizons that God has given me um, and, and go overseas in different areas um, as well. But that um, I actually hopefully uh, plan to be – um, in Paris next year with my music and with the ministry that I'm a part of. So I am wow. I'm very excited about that. So, yeah, we're definitely moving forward and speaking it into existence and believing that it will happen. That's right, worldwide. I remember when I first got with this platform and I was seeing how a lot of the podcasters were from all over the country, especially in, 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 the, in the London area, a lot of podcasts, because they're really big on because uh, this is really a DJ platform. It's, it's, a, it's one of the best platforms for for playing music, and especially now since they have the live feature, uh, nothing lost. And I noticed that, of course, the industry has changed a lot because <laughs> you can't play online, you know, music that you don't have licenses for, and, and a lot of podcasters can't afford that that type of uh, money per month. So I don't really know what those guys are playing now. Since, 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 like a lot of those DJs fell off unless they're playing their own stuff. I remember one time, um, I don't know if you guys remember, one time when the tech music was really hot, uh, a lot of those guys had mixtapes. I wonder how that plays a part now. You know, do you ever have to have a license to be able to do a mix mixtape if it's not your music? You know, like I know Tashara, you'd be able to do one eventually when you have like a whole, you know, a couple albums out, just do a mix, you know, gospel greats of Tashara Boykin. Wouldn't it be exciting, though, yeah. when it comes? Leave it. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that'd be hot. Because <laughs> I remember that's how I got introduced to um, gospel music, like, back in, uh, right before my kids were born. Um, I remember my wife and I, we was we was heading up this exercise program at the church. And um, because it was the church, we, we couldn't play, you know, R&B music. Uh, that was one of the stipulations that had a program. And I was, I was like, oh, my gosh, I got, where am I going to find music? Because I only knew about traditional music. And, of course, you know, uh, like, you know, Kirk Franklin was getting hot at the time, and he was changing the beats up and stuff. And that's like he he was the only person we really knew about until we got that, uh, I think it was called Gospel Wow. And there had a lot of artists on there that had um, music that you can kind of really twist to, you know, get your exercise on. So uh, the industry has come a long way. I think independent gospel artists, to me, are really giving mainstream a run for its money. The only problem is you guys don't have the backing to get on those type of radio shows. Um, and one, gospel radio um, programs are starting to get depleted. So you're, everybody's kind of going to be limited to the Internet. Uh, you have anything to say about that, Tasha? About that? That what's going on with the industry in, in radio? Yeah, I mean it's it's amazing to me because um, you know back in the day it was all about trying to get on to mainstream radio stations and things of that sort, um, and now everything is is live stream. It's turning, you know, it's, it's going in that direction, um, and unfortunately with. Um, it's kind of like a catch-22. It's a great thing, but sometimes it's, a, it's, it's difficult because it's easier for people to get to. Um, it's easier for people to get your music without, you know, necessarily purchasing it, or um, it's cheaper to, to to get the the music as well. 
Um, but the great thing about it is that just like what you said, people in Japan can hear your music. People in Russia can hear your music. You know, you're all over Europe. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely um, a, a great thing that is going in that direction. Um, but <laughs> things have definitely changed from, from back in the day. Um, and, you know, like you stated earlier with the licensing, you just have to – everyone has to be careful because, you know, none of – the uh, the radio stations such as yourself want a lawsuit for something that you know it, it, things change so quickly. So you, you a rule may have been set in place the next one day, but not not the next day. Um, and and you don't want to get yourself caught up into something that you know you're supposed to do. Um, so you have to kind of stay abreast at all times as to what is going on in the industry mm-hmm. and, and um, with the rules and regulations of live streaming and internet radio. And, and one thing about the live streaming, um, then, you know, XM Radio really started getting, is really taking off because you have celebrities starting to buy their own shows. So, uh, you know, that's starting to pull some weight, but it's still like not a lot of room for, for independence in that area, but you're starting to find a lot of podcasts. Uh, cause, I mean, all these awards shows, I was just surprised at how many internet radio shows they are for, for independent gospel artists, which is great because it's still not enough compared to mainstream, you know, radio because a lot of those guys are still playing mainstream. And then he's like, how can you compete with mainstream, you know, with the, the money backing that they get anyway on regular radio because they're interested in that metropolitan city, that territory. But like you said, now we guys, we overseas. They don't really care about, you know, who owns what radio stations. They don't care about that. They just want to know, okay, who got the best sound? Who got some good music for me to hear? And you won't hear the same song the next hour when I get back in the car. Because our playlist is like remarkable thanks to Ngara. And, and Ngara is really picking up a lot of steam right now. A lot of steam. A lot of artists are starting to find out about them. And now, hold on, George, I'm going to let you ask, answer the last question before we close out the show. Now, Tashara, do you think... Um, there's going to be any more players coming on like Angara because it's not right now. They feel like they're the only pony in town right now that's doing what they're doing. Do you think we need another Angara to help you guys with, with, with distribution? Um, I mean, Angara is actually, in, it's kind of, you know, one of a kind for sure. Um, but we always need distribution outlets no matter what. Um, so, um, I think there's going to be, there probably will be, um, there's always a first, but there probably will be others that are going to come up and, and help to distribute music as well in different areas in different live stream. But, um, I know, uh, with Igara, they're definitely on the cutting edge of a lot of different things. They've, they've even expanded themselves into different industries and they're staying abreast as to what. Um, is, is going to keep them successful and going and very relevant to what people want to hear and want to do. And, um, you know, they're, they're, right now they're, they're uh, marketing themselves as kind of being that one-stop shop um, place mm-hmm. for people to be able to go um, to, to get their music done and, um, you know, get it out there to social media outlets, get it out there to, to everyone so that, that it can be, early and um, you know the due diligence is being yeah, done. Right. So there probably will be someone else. You know, there's always competition. <laughs> you yeah, know, or, it seems like there's it so many that. record labels. Cause, you know, cause, like it seems like there's way more smaller independent record labels than you have the distributor. And, and I remember my cousin used to always say, long time ago, when because I know he was he was trying to break into um, the, the market where they played the, the, the dance music. And, uh, and it was really hard because he said that the key is the music can be good, but if you don't have the DJ spinning it in the bigger nightclubs, like in New York, then the radio station is not going to ever find out about because those where the listeners are and they're watching how they react. And the DJ not going to take a chance to put something on the people are going to walk off the floor, you know? So it's like you almost got to put the DJ to give your music an opportunity so you can go to the next level. Because I remember that's the way it used to be back then. And he used to always say, Prince used to always say, 
The money is in distribution. It's not in being a manager. It's not being an artist. The distributors make the money. They got the power. So uh, that was interesting. So that way today. So that way. So you got to... It's, it's gangster. <laughs> That's all he can say. It's gangster. <laughs> all right. Do so you want to give her the last question for tonight? And then, um, uh, if you don't mind, Deshaun, would you like to pray, pray us out tonight? Would you mind? Sure. Not a problem at all. Awesome. Right after Joy's question, before we Joyce pray you out, I want to thank you so much for joining us on Positive Power Double X. And don't be a stranger. Of course, we're going to see you in, a, in about a month, about, I guess, three weeks, something like that. Uh, down in Jacksonville at the Angara Radio mm-hmm. Alliance. Again, that's the 13, 14, 15. Anybody want to join us and hang out, come on down and, and hang out with Jerry Royce Live and friends. All right? Okay. We ready? We ready for you. Oh, good. Joyce, you have something else, Joyce, before she prays out? Oh, I'm did sorry. she um, share her um, social media information with everybody and where we can find her music? Oh, she did. I don't uh, think I'm not, but thank you so much. I am Tashara Sings on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and my name is spelled T as in Tom, E, S as in Sam, C-H-A-R-A, and then Sings. So Tashara Sings on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, my website is www.tasharasings.com. My um, email is tasharasings at gmail.com. So I'm very consistent with that just to make it easy. My name is difficult enough, so I just want to make sure that, um, yes, yeah, it's just to share things on all social media. Um, and uh, I see my music can be found on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, um, Amazon, all of the, uh, the social media outlets. All right. Also, yeah. I thought I think I have a spell right. I just didn't put a period on there. So it's T E S C H A R A sings, right? Yes. Uh huh. Oh. All right. Cool. Got it out there. So anybody, so people who are coming back on a replay is right there. They just click it, and there she go. The state of Connecticut, <laughs> Deacon James, and all of them. <laughs> all right. Check it out, everybody. So um, hopefully, it'll sell some albums. And one and and one of the things we always tell artists: don't be afraid, don't be strangers. Come in Facebook, you know. Joe, we used to be on Spreaker Radio really heavily with our uh, uh, blogging. People were coming on there, chatting a whole lot. Now people all over the place. A lot of people like to catch the show later. Cause we used to come on later, so people like to catch the show later. And then we're sending the oh, show out to Japan. So um, hopefully, you know, we can you benefit on some big album set sales, and then we can make you part of our our Facebook. Uh, store when I get that thing up and running. <laughs> We're working on awesome, that. Thanks. Yeah. And before you push, uh, so you, you got the question there, right, Joyce? That was your question, right? Where is she on yes. social media? Yes. All right. Exactly. And Sarah, before, you, mm-hmm. before you press out, um, have you, have you, have you got into that part of it? Because Facebook did introduce that platform just a few months ago. It looks like they aren't at the bug. Or can people find your, your music link in the store? Can they get t-shirts of you or mug? Tickets to see you perform. What can it? What can it get? Can it get anything? <laughs> well, right now it's just some music. I actually do have a um, uh, some T-shirts coming out um, as well. That will be soon. And, and then the ministry that I'm a part of, Beauty for Ashes, they um, also have T-shirt um, T-shirt line that will be um, coming out very soon as well. And um, so yeah, we will. We're definitely. Um, Going to have apparel on there, um, but right now. Yeah, that's right, y'all. You gotta, you gotta keep your, your name and your face fresh out there. And, and that's the thing. They, I think somebody said the numbers are like nine billion. I know it's like billions of people on Facebook just connected worldwide. And because it is a community, and that was one of the things I was just talking to Joyce about on Damon, uh-huh. Damon John. And Damon John said in one of his podcasts. It was a really good podcast too. Uh, the guy that hosted the show used to be a real football quarterback. Really good show. He said uh, that he wished he had this community when he first started. For he went and went through so many tribulations with that, you know, because they had to get into the stores. That was the thing back then. You had to get into the box stores in order for people 
to to buy you, and then you had to use a celebrity in a music video or movie, so your name would get up with us now. It's just a matter of um, people just c- catching wind of something that looks good. You know, if it's good, they're going to buy it. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. That is A ready-made community. Already just got to put a couple dollars in their, in their promotion to see what happens. All right. Okay, we ready for you to press out when you're ready. Okay, well, first I want to say thank you so much for um, the opportunity of having me on tonight, and I appreciate all the love and support that you have given me. Um, and so... Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, thanking you for this day, thanking you for your grace, your love, and your mercy. We thank you for uh, what you have done in our lives and what you will do in our lives. And we ask that you continue to guide us and to, to lead us into the path of righteousness for your name. So we pray right now that you give us the wisdom, guidance, and understanding that we need in order to be true disciples of Christ and leader in your kingdom. I pray that you the energy of the kingdom in the name of Jesus that we continue to to um, press toward the mark of the cries of the high calling of Jesus Christ. And we pray right now, um, and we thank you for blessings and favor, God. I pray for the men of God who uh, and the women of God who have come on, who are a part of this um, wonderful radio station and who are helping independent gospel artists to get their music out there in unity and love. I pray for favor on their lives and favor on their stations, Lord. We love you, we praise you, we bless your name. This we pray in your precious son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Precious blood. All right. Thank you so much to Shower Join us. Again, don't be a stranger. Stop through any time. Hit us up on Facebook Live. Shout us out. And uh, we try to spread spread the joy, your music, to, to, the, to the listeners. All right, everybody. That was awesome. the Shower Bookings. You can catch our music right here on Positive Power Double X I. You can catch uh, the Faith Walker on Survival Radio and right here on Positive Power. And um, so is any any place else people can catch you, catch your show while you're here? Uh, oh, you mean catch my show? I'm all, My show is also on um, Blaze One Radio. So if they go Blaze. to www.blazeoneradio.com, they can click on my little um, show link and listen to the show. All right. Awesome. That's right, and you can catch on Spreaker Radio, too. Just type in Joyce White, and it will come up. All her shows, all of them. she got a lot of shows, too. All right, everybody. <laughs> That's right. All right, I got last question for you at the shower. Did you feel the power? Did you feel the power, 21? Yes, I feel the power, 21. Did you feel the power? What about you, Joyce Faith White? Faith walk from white. Did you feel the power? Feeling. Yes, <laughs> I'm feeling the power. Feeling the power. And I know my good friend Paula G out there in the UK listening to the show. Do you feel the power, Paula G? Tina Hobson, Anthony Avery, John E. Ross. What's going on, everybody? Lacey Radio family, you feel the power. Thank you so much, Superwoman. I'll see you Friday. Don't forget, y'all. I will be on I Am A Superwoman Radio at 8 o'clock. I'll be piping it into this channel, too. So if you can't you can find Tina Hobson or she's not her friend, you can, you can listen to the show right here, too. I'll make sure I have it piping in right through this, this network. All right, everybody. Shout out to Pastor, Pastor Barmadella Bello and Pastor Ron and Bello, the Bless Network. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. I hope you, if you don't catch me tomorrow, Tomorrow night or Sunday, I want you to have a great and safe Fourth of July holiday. Don't blow your fingers off playing around the fire. We're going to be too slow to move out of the way. See what the pros play with it. If you're in the Baltimore area, the Baltimore Harbor, they have one of the best fireworks shows ever. Always, always. They got new stuff. Come on out this way. Let me know if you're coming. So you can hang out with us. We'll be right down there. Pier 6. Probably Pier 6. Or somewhere over there where the Bay Cafe used to be at. The Boat House. Come on down. Enjoy the fireworks. It's going to be beautiful. All right, y'all. Hi. This is Angel Christian. And I'm Angel. I'm listening to Jerry. And I'm Angel. 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 Hi, I'm Larry W.R. 
Robinson, host of Gospel Updates, your gospel entertainment news report. And you're listening to Positive Power 21 Christian Radio with Jerry Weiss, live worldwide. Hi, I'm Superwoman Tina Hobson, and you are listening to Late Night with Jerry Royce live. You are listening to Positive Power 21. Positive Power 21 is a global Christian radio network dedicated to spreading positive power around the world. Positive Power 21 is the platform for independent Christian recording and performing music artists who have a positive message in their music. Tune in or log on to Positive Power 21, www.positivepower21.org. Check us out on Facebook Live with Jerry Royce Live or head over to Spreaker Radio at www.spreaker.com and search for Jerry Royce Live worldwide. Many ways to feel the power of Positive Power 21. Positive Power 21, Thank you. 